All right. So here's an optimization problem, section 47, number 40. This is the one that you wouldn't have answers for. The boat leaves the dock at 2 p.m. and travels due south at a speed of 20 kilometers per hour. Another boat has been heading due east at 15 kilometers per hour and reaches the same dock at 3 an hour later, right? At what time were the two boats closest? So I need a good picture. So I'm going to make the dock in black. Here's the dock D, right? The boat leaves. I'm going to do the boat going south. So at 2 p.m., a boat leaves. And it's going south, right? I'll make down the board at a speed of 20 kilometers per hour. Bottom, all right? Now, you might be thinking this is a related rate. Okay, but it says right here optimization, so we'll get there in a second. Because it, it, says, it says how, at what time were the two boats close together? That has nothing, to, that answer is my, that doesn't, doesn't have how fast is it happening, it's how close they are. We just got some DRT stuff. At 2 o'clock, do you agree, guys, the other boat was heading due east? Oh, shit, I'm going to have to move these numbers on the other side. So the other boat is headed due east. All right, at 2 o'clock, at what speed? 15 kilometers per hour. You guys agree? So, we have a situation at 2 o'clock. Do you guys agree they're 15 kilometers apart at 2 o'clock? How did I come up with 15 kilometers? Yeah, both leaving at 2 and at 3 o'clock. If I redraw the picture at 3 o'clock, this is 2 o'clock over here. If I redraw the picture at 3, they said the other boat reached the dock. I, I think you guys realize at 3 o'clock, this boat is one hour later, 20 kilometers away. So here's 3 p.m. So I have two initial conditions. This is extreme value theorem at its best. At 2 o'clock, they're 15 kilometers apart, right? At 3 o'clock, they are 20 kilometers apart. And then we have to check in between. And in between, this is going to get a little ugly. All right, but in between, I'm going to do that point D is here. I'm going to say that this boat is some distance X away, right? And this boat is some distance Y away. And do you guys agree those are changing with time? And how far apart are they? Well, I think they are apart. Do you guys see the formula for this one? Pythagorean theorem. Does everybody agree? Z squared equals x squared plus y squared. And remember, we talked about this as optimization. I don't need to optimize for the distance. I can optimize for z squared. When the distance squared is minimum, so is the distance. So my equation for this situation is going to be this. And I'll do everything in black down here. Z squared is equal to x squared plus y squared. And I know that I'm going to optimize for capital Z. Problem with optimization is you can never do two variables. And right now I have X and Y. Now, this problem is hard because I'm going to have to get this one variable. And there is no relationship between X and Y that's really easy. But there is a relationship that X can go to some amount of time. We can figure out X and Y with respect to time. The easiest one to do is y first. For every hour that goes by, do you agree that y is equal to 20 t? Right? Because it's going 20 kilometers per hour. Right? At time 0, it's 20, 0. And at time 1, it's 20. The harder one is, is the distance for x. Right? Because we have to realize that it is 15 kilometers away at time 0. Right? And everybody, this is actually closing the distance. So the way I write x in this case, and this is a DRT problem, all right? So x is going to be equal to, at time 0, I think the initial distance is 15 kilometers away, right? And I think it's minus 15t. And again, think about it. You plug in 0 for t, you get 15. You plug in 1 hour, what do you get? 0. That is the equation for the distance away at any given instant. Well, guess what I can do now? I can replace x and y. 
Now, everybody listen carefully to what I say. Do not, well, you can make the argument that you could square this out, right? Does everybody agree it's just a binomial squared? But we don't want to square it out. All right, so here we go. Everybody, I am not, I'm going to find the derivative z prime. I am not going to bother doing this. I'm going to take the power rule down and use the chain rule instead of multiplying it out, guys. That is the derivative of 15 minus 15t quantity squared, right? Derivative of this one, you guys might say, well, just square it out, but why bother? Guys, why bother? It's just that. I am just using the chain rule. It's easy, it's fast, and then I can make some simplifications. And maybe I do this so you guys see the math a little easier. I take a little reorganization time here. And now I'm going to set this sucker equal to what? Zero, because we know that critical points happen at those points. So I want to say, hey, z prime is going to be zero. So I get this set equal to zero. I get, what, negative 450 plus 450t plus 800t. All right? Right? Did I do it right? Yeah, I did. I move 450 to the other side, and that equals 1250t. Divide both sides by 1250. And what I get here is some fraction. All right? And does that make sense that I'm getting a fraction? Why? Why does it make sense? You said sure. Maybe because I just make me be quiet. You just believe me? I love it. You know, you shouldn't trust me, guys. First of all, you should always verify what people tell you. Nine point this. Guys, yeah, think about time. What is our time what is our domain of time? Zero to one hour. Zero to one. Zero to one. So if we go back, this is an extreme value theorem problem, guys. Entire page. We have three conditions. At time equals zero, the very first condition, we agreed the bolts were 15 kilometers apart, right? At time equals one, at the very beginning, we agreed the bolts were 20 kilometers apart. And now we found that there's a critical point of 920 fifths. So at what time are the two bolts closest together? Well, the first thing I better make sure of is that this results in something less than 15. You guys agree? So I'm going to take that 920 fifths and go all the way back to this equation. Because what's this equation give me? It gives me the distance squared. All right? And if that gives me the distance squared, I can calculate this. Now, everybody, what time is it? Well, it's 920 fifths of an hour. I don't know what time that is. It's, you know, it's 2 p.m. plus 9.25 fifths of an hour. I'm not going to make a conversion. I don't care that much. I will tell you that when you go back right now, because I'm not going to ask you, I and mean, this is test review for us, all right? I'm not going to ask you to find the time. I'm not going to make you convert 9.25 fifths of an hour to minutes and seconds, all right? I will make sure that you check this. This is less than 15 when you plug it in here, all right? Everybody, the hardest part of this problem as always, is developing the equations. You guys agree? It's never the calculus. It's always the situational algebra that takes a ton of work. All right? 